Bim Laser, brought to you by Vlosa. In this episode, we're going to go over the usage of steel connections that you load within Revit. Okay, the first thing that we should do is load the connections. So go up to the Structure tab, and go over to the right, then you want to click on the arrow. Okay. Now you see connections and this is the structural connection settings. You see the connections here. What you what I'm doing now is I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to add them to loaded connections. You can select the ones you want. I like all of them. I think they're beautiful. As a designer, I think they're beautiful, so I'm going to load every last one of them. Okay. Once those connections are loaded, now you can start to use them. And in this session, we're going to go over how you connect a beam to a column using those same connections. Also, how you connect bracing that we're going to place on this structure using these connections. How do you use the connections to connect the beams and the columns to the bracing? And also, how you tie down this column to this concrete foundation pedestal. Okay, let's go to an elevation view. Okay, so in this elevation view, we're going to place bracing. Okay, so you want to go up to the top where it says structure and then over to bracing. For bracing, we're going to use HSS square and you may want to load it if you don't have it, the type of bracing that you want to use when you are placing bracing. Okay, so we're going to use HSS 8 by 8 by dirt by 3 eighths. Okay. And I'm going to select this location in the middle of the beam. And I'm going to do it again here. Okay. And for this one, I'm going to start at the bottom of the column. I'm going to go up and go down to the column. Now there may be certain instances where you want to place or you want to attach your column and it's doing it automatically to the middle of the beam. So you can see here, this endpoint here is selected and it's actually locking into the middle of the beam, which is great. That's the midpoint that we want. Okay, so to place this connection, what we're going to do is select the members that you want to connect. So we have our diagonal bracing connecting to a beam. Okay, let's go to our 3D view so we can see it in action. Okay, so you have these three connected. What you want to do is go up to the top, click Structure, go over to Connections, click Connections. Now, once that's done, I'm going to click off. Once that's done, you have a green icon placed. You want to select that and then go over to the left to the Properties and then you want to select from all of the connection options. Okay, so now for this connection, what we can do here is we can select, let's do that again, for this connection I'm looking for a tube connection with sandwich plates. Okay. Okay. So now being that there's so many connections loaded in, I'm just going to search for it rather than scrolling up and down for three minutes. Okay, tube connections, right? And I'm looking for a sandwich plate. Now, I have multiple options. Okay, let's select this one, two diagonal. Okay, that connection is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now let's go and connect this diagonal to the beam. We're going to do the same process. And you can actually click still, but let's stay with clicking structure, connection, and then you see you have this connection here, the primary being the column, secondary number two being the diagonal bracing. Okay, diagonal bracing. Now let's look for something with a gusset plate. Okay, let's see, uh, gusset plate at diagonal. Okay, now 
depending on the type of structure that you're laying out, this connection may not be sufficient. But for now, we're placing that there as a placeholder. Okay, so we have this connection tying two diagonal braces, two, di two diagonal members to a beam, and then we have the diagonal member connecting to a column. Okay, so now let's connect the column to this concrete foundation pedestal. And again, you select the column, select the member, whether that, whether that was a foundation or concrete column, you just want to select the two, and then once they're selected, go over to Structure, select Connection, OK, and then go over to Properties, and then let's select Base Plate. Beautiful. OK, we have this. And I'm showing you pretty much how you can get your structure up into LOD 350, LOD 4. 500, 400. LOD is level of detail or level of development. Okay, so once we have this here, okay, now let's tie this beam over into this column and this diagonal. Let's see if the, if we can we can find a connection from what we loaded that can actually handle this. Okay, now we have this generic icon here, that's a placeholder, the generic connection, and let's see if we can actually find something that will suffice. Gusset plate to column and base plate. Let's see if this will work. Absolutely beautiful. So we have a gusset plate, and we're connecting the column to the beam. But if you look, we're connecting these three, but we're not necessarily connecting this beam to this column. So let's try that. And this we would potentially want on the outside. But let's connect the beam to the column, and then we're done. OK, go to Structure, Connections, and you make sure that this is highlighted. Then you go over to Properties. Now we may, look, we may want uh, just a simple uh, clip angle. Okay, let's search for that. Clip. Okay. Now, clip angle. Let's see. Beautiful. Now we have this clip angle connecting this beam to this column. Now, you can adjust this clip angle if you select it, and then you go up to Modify Parameters. You click Modify Parameters, and then under Modify Parameters, you can start to adjust, say, how many bolts and the actual height of this clip angle. And you see, let's see, let's go to where that option would be. Horizontal. Okay, so vertical bolts. You can see this dimension here is 10. It's showing you number 10, the dimension. You go over to number 10, and you can adjust it by here, but it's not shown. So you would have to go through the options and select and adjust these base plates. Uh, I'm sorry, adjust the, uh, the clip angle to what you need. Now, uh, it says 4 three right there's three bolts if you if you select four it should update okay there you go now you see that we actually have more that's eight bolts on one side now let's see if there's eight bolts on the other side and then we're done beautiful connection. I love to see LOD 400, 350. Look at that. The bolt, the nut, all of it modeled. This concludes this learning session. BIM Laser.